Hi, my name is Josh Lozano. I am the sous chef here over at Toast in beautiful Costa Mesa. So today, we're gonna to show you how to make our campfire potatoes over here at Toast. Uh, it's a dish that was inspired by growing up, going down to the beach, roasting some hot dogs over the nice fire. Um, something I always like the smell of smoke. I grew up playing with fire, so why not become a chef and start playing with some fire and some smoke? Um, so this is how we do it at Toast. So we have a 24-hour sous vide uh, pork belly. We're just gonna drench it here in a little bit of straight cornstarch. Um, cornstarch kinda adds that nice little crunch factor, and after it's all fried up and warmed through, it'll be that nice, luscious pork belly that everybody loves. So whenever you place anything in hot oil, you always want to place it away from you. That way to not burn yourself. And we're just going to let that ride until it gets golden brown delicious. See, it's just about the color of hay, which is just where we want. Um, there is going to be some carryover cook time. So you want to pull it up, pull it out of the oil when it's a nice blonde to a light brown. So right now what we're going to do is placing the pork on the right side of the plate and then we're going to do a nice little quenelle of uh, some house creme fraiche on the left side. So if you do a quenelle at home, do a push-pull technique. Stick your spoon in, push it till the spoon's full, turn it about halfway, come back towards yourself, nip off that little tail, or place it right on the side of our pork belly. Now the one thing that's best with pork belly is a little bit of salt. Uh, house made creme fraiche, it's just the right amount of tang. Um, so we're just gonna add a little Malden's crunchy salt right on top. So we cook our fingerling potatoes in uh, vegetable ash. It's uh, leftover trimmings that we got from the restaurant. Throw them in the oven, burn them all the way through, uh, grind it up and then we throw that mixture in with a little bit of salt and water in a pan. Um, you cook the potatoes in the water and the ash mixture until all the water has evaporated. And the product that you're left with is these neat little charcoal potatoes. So they're perfectly encrusted with salt and ash. One little thing that I like to do, um, being inspired by bonfires down by the beach, um, I like to add these nice little red flowers, um, so it's kind of a play on coals and embers. The last thing you want to do is sauce your pork belly. Uh, so we have a pasilla hoisin sauce. So we're just going to take our super crispy pork belly and we're just going to lightly coat it in our sauce, almost like a glaze. Um, you don't want to do too much though. Uh, it is very rich and bold in flavor. Now that everything's cooked, we got our potatoes, we have our embers, we have our creme fraiche, our glazed pork belly. We're gonna get ready to smoke it. So there you have it, campfire potatoes with salted creme fraiche.